Hello, this video is about red screen software. Uh, during this video, I will tell you what red screen is, how it is used, and how capable the software is. And through a few examples, I will also show you the software itself in use. So, what is red screen? It is a software for renewable energy and energy efficiency assessment. It is free to download and it is one of the most downloaded energy assessment tools available. Uh, it can be used for many types of renewable energy technologies, ranging from solar panels to tidal power, for example. Uh, Red Screen is used to assess single energy systems, so it is not capable of assessing national scale energy systems. Uh, and these are things that it can calculate so energy potential of the proposed renewable energy system and the greenhouse gas emission reduction compared to the base case. So there is always the proposed case, which is the renewable energy system, and then the base case, which is usually a fossil fuel based system. And then it can also calculate the financial viability of the proposed case. And you can also do some sensitivity and risk analysis with it. And what is useful, especially for solar or wind power, for example, is that it holds a lot of climate data. So after this tutorial, you will know the very basics of red screen and you will learn how to make a quick energy potential assessment. And through a few examples, which are wind turbine and biogas plants, I will introduce you the software. And we can now jump in to the software. So when you open red screen, it will look like this. Uh, first, we can type in some project information. What is the name of our project, the location and etc. But uh, these are only for your own information and you don't necessarily have to write anything. But for example, we could write here wind turbine as our project name and the location, for example, could be Finland in this case. Uh, but the most important thing here is the project type and we will choose power from the options. And now it will ask that what will be the technology used in our calculations and we will choose it to be wind turbine and as the analysis type we will choose it to be method one uh, method two is a bit more complicated version but if you have enough time and data you can use this too to have more precise results and then we can move on to the energy model sheet there are three different methods again available method one being the simplest and in the case of wind turbine i would suggest you to use method two because it will take account the climate data which you chose in the starting sheet so when you have put all the data here it will calculate the energy potential of the wind turbine it will show it here the electricity exported to the grid and it will also calculate the emission analysis what will be the greenhouse gas emission reduction with the system compared to the base case and i can show an example by using the method one so let's say our wind turbines power capacity is 35 and the capacity factor is 30 percent so the energy potential in this case would be 92 megawatt hours annually and uh, compared to oil the net annual greenhouse gas emission reduction would be around 40 tons of CO2 or we can choose it to be equivalent to cars and light trucks not used which is seven. So the next step after the emission analysis is the financial analysis so you will just fill in this and it will give you the payback time of your system so you need to know for example the investment costs and the annual costs uh, then the annual savings and so on 
After the financial analysis, the energy model can be considered done. But if you have some problems filling the information required, uh, you can always use the tools sheet. You can, for example, calculate the electricity consumption of a water pump by using the appliances and equipment and choosing here water pump and then filling this information and it will calculate the annual annual uh, electricity consumption. Now I will show you quickly how I used red screen to calculate the energy potential of a biogas plant. For assessing the energy potential of a biogas plant, the project type was chosen to be user-defined because there wasn't an option for transportation fuel manufacturing from biomass. And after this, I jumped into the tools sheet and picked biogas and user-defined fuel. And here you can see the feedstocks and the two of these, the reed canary grass and wastewater sludge, I the input for these is obtained from the literature and basically the energy potential of the biogas plant can be seen here but in order to use as a transportation fuel the methane content has to be around 97 percent of methane for defining the fuel i set the temperature to be 10 degrees and the composition of the upgraded biogas is 97 percent of methane and therefore the density of the biogas is then 0 0.73 or 72 uh, and this uh, number i need in the energy model sheet and here you can see the proposed gaze and the amount of purified bio biogas in kilos and you can here see the formula and this is compared to the base case where you use the same energy amount of gasoline and therefore the red screen calculated also the emission analysis so if this amount of upgraded biogas would replace this amount of gasoline the net annual greenhouse gas emission would be around this so this was the end of the tutorial i hope you learned the basics of the software and have a better understanding of it. Thank you for watching and see you again.